Mexico Chayan is a riot, chapter five, dancing in the end zone. <laughs> when we arrived for our next practice, Andrea and the girly cheerleaders were practicing their routines at the other end of the field. Losing, winning, we won't lie. We're most happy with a tie. Go Moose. What a lame cheer. Finally, Coach Hyatt showed up in her Mini Cooper with her nose-picking son, Wyatt Hyatt. There was a guy sitting in the car with them, but he didn't get out. Hmm, that was weird. Coach Hyatt blew her whistle. Line up! Are we going to pick up your car again, asked Neil. No, the coach barked. Today, you ragamuffins are going to learn the most important part of football. How to do an end zone dance. What? asked Ryan. After you score a touchdown, you have to do a dance in the end zone, Coach Hyatt said. Then Coach Hyatt showed us her end zone dance. She shook her butt, lifted a leg over her head, hopped up and down for a while, and then put her hands in the air and waved them around like a crazy person. Coach Hyatt is a riot. Now you try, she told us. We all shook our butts, lifted one of our legs over our heads, hopped up and down for a while, and put our hands in the air and waved them around like crazy people. Wyatt just picked his nose. Can we have some Gatorade now, asked Ryan. No, Coach barked Coach Hyatt. After we learned the end zone dance, the coach went to her car. Remember that guy who was sitting in it? Well, it turned out he wasn't a guy at all. He wasn't a girl either. He was a dummy. This is my friend Elvis, Coach Hyatt said, as she carried the dummy over to us. Sure enough, the dummy looked just like the real Elvis. It sounded like him, too. Coach Hyatt pushed the button on the back of the dummy, and it started singing, You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Coach Hyatt said we were all going to use Elvis to practice our tackling. Tackling is fun because you get to knock the dummy on its butt. We all lined up to tackle Elvis. I got to go first because my name begins with an A. Okay, AJ, Coach Hyatt, said Coach Hyatt. I want... You to pretend this is somebody you really hate. Well, that was easy. I'm going to pretend it's Andrea, I told the guys. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, sang Elvis. I pretended that Elvis, the Elvis dummy was Andrea, and I rammed it as hard as I could. Don't be cruel, sang Elvis. I got a... <laughs> as I got off him. Ooh, I'm all shook up. Good job, AJ, said Coach Hyatt. Each of us got to tackle the Elvis dummy five times. It was cool. Coach Hyatt showed us how to go for the legs. So the runner would fall down. Wyatt just picked his nose. Doesn't that kid ever run out of boogers? When we were finished, the coach blew her whistle and said we could take a drink from the Gatorade jug. That's when Little Miss Perfect came over. She had on a cheerleading uniform and was holding pom-poms in her hands. That was a very violent exercise you were doing, Andrea told us. Is it really necessary to hit the dummy so hard? I think that leads to a violent behavior in children. Can you possibly be more boring, I asked Andrea. Why don't you go back? to your side of the field and work on your lame cheers, <laughs> said Andrea. Then she stormed off to do more lame cheers with her friends. We don't hate and we don't boo. We respect the other team too. Go Moose. After everybody had some Gatorade, Coach Hyatt taught us how to punt the ball. Punting is hard. I punted the ball really far, but I couldn't make it go straight. One of my punts landed over near the cheerleaders and Andrea picked it up. I remembered the last time she got her hands on the ball and threw it over our heads. Don't throw it, I told Andrea. Just bring it back. What's the magic word, Arlo? asked Andrea. Now, I yelled. Well, okay, Andrea said, but you're going to have to tackle me for it. Me and the guys laughed. A cheerleader thought she could run past a bunch of trained football players. Ha, I'd like to see you try, I yelled. Andrea started running toward us. Get her, I yelled. Andrea faked out Michael, and then she faked out Ryan, and then she faked out Neil. Andrea was faking out everybody. She was running down the field, and nobody could stop her. Nobody but me, that is. After she faked everybody else out, I was the only player between Andrea and the goal line. You're not getting past me, I told her. Oh, yes, I am, Arlo. Oh, no, you're not, I told Andrea. We went back and forth like that for a while, and then Andrea faked left, and then she faked right, and then she faked left again. But I wasn't going to fall for her lame fakes. I grabbed her leg and slammed her on the ground. All the guys cheered. Ooh, Ryan said. AJ tackled Andrea. They must be in love. When are you going to get married, asked Michael. If those guys weren't my best friends, I would hate them.